Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you some resources that I've been gathering, including some discounted software, discounted or free trainings, and discounted gear to help pass on to you some potential savings during a tough time. While much of the world hunkers down, many of us are thinking in terms of how we can either sharpen the saw and improve our knowledge and craft, or chart a course towards some additional revenue streams. With that in mind, I've been doing my best to gather some resources and information together to pass on to you that you might find helpful. I'll have links to everything I'm talking about in the video description below for easy reference. However, if you are aware of any additional resources, please let me know what those are so I can add them to the list. I'll include a community found list just below the links that I include. So be sure to check that for any additional things that people share with me after this video has been released. Also, please know that many of the links are affiliate links and that is because I, like you, am concerned about the monetary hit that I have have, am now, and will be taking in these trying times. So I don't apologize for having those. I just want you to know that they're there. So let's first dive into resources for photographers. There are two areas that I would emphasize during this time. One is to perfect your post-production skills as you may possibly have more time on your hands to do so, but the other is to work on your studio work. It's possible to set up a small photo studio in just about any space and learning to strobe products and people in a studio environment is an important skill for any photographer looking to maximize their capability to um, to grasp. And although I am not a product photographer, I'd like to think that maybe product photography is one of the few types of photography that is still possible to make money at during times like these. I'm not sure though. But when it comes to improving your photography, the PPA or Professional Photographers of America, that association is offering uh, their whole library of 1100 recorded talks from their top professional photographers in the industry. They're making those available completely free for a few weeks. This library is usually only available to affiliated members, so it's probably worth a quick registration uh, to take a peek and see if there's value there for you. Skillshare is also one you could take a look at. They offer two months of free content, which hopefully we won't need more than two months of things to keep us busy as shut-ins, but that might be worth checking out. Those lessons tend to be lighter and quick, but the content diversity is massive. It's not limited to just photography. There's a lot of other lessons and workshops there. There's really something for everyone for sure. And while we're talking about photo education, shameless plug here, I'm also offering my own workshops currently. This will come in two forms. Starting next week, I'll be offering live online workshops where I'll be with you in a live conference call setting. These will be offered much cheaper than I would normally charge for these workshops because they'll be in beta. Um, so take advantage of that. But also there's another version you could use. You can, you can take the on-demand version or the recorded version of those as well um, at half off additionally. So that'll be more interesting to those who don't, who are introverted, don't want to actually speak with me live, but still want to get the information. Um, so I'm making both types of content available. Um, the response has been good. We've been getting a lot of purchases, um, a lot of interest. Um, so if you're interested, especially if you're interested in those live courses, you'll want to register soon. You can find more information on those workshops at our website at danaeandandrew.com slash workshops. The last resource I want to mention, it's a bonus resource. This is a completely free Slack channel, a place where you can come and discuss real time with other people what you're thinking about, what you're working on, or gear questions, or just, you know, whatever whatever you want to talk about. The Slack channel is called Digital Art Analog Heart, and I did start it, but it's not necessarily my channel. I just started it because I wanted a place that, I use Slack, I use Slack all day long, um, both at work, but also with other communities, and I enjoy that as a place to connect real time with other people. So if you've started using Slack, I know a lot of you probably have started working from home and have started using Slack where you haven't before, um, if you're in that at all, then you might add that channel also and come talk about digital art with an analog heart with other people if you want to. Um, I'm in there all the time. Happy to connect with you there. Next, we have a few software solutions for photographers. Petapixel published a guide on how to get two months free of Adobe Creative Cloud, which is a pretty huge value. This should give you enough time to get through a backlog of content um, that you've had piling up and then some, but it does come with a caveat. Not everyone is able to get that to work apparently. 
I think if you've already been subscribed to the yearly license of Creative Cloud, you may have trouble. But if you've gone month to month, I've heard it's possible to do this, or if you've never subscribed. Either way, it's totally worth trying. Beyond that, Affinity Pro is offering their tools for half price, as well as an offering of 90 days free trial, which is an impressive amount of time. They are specifically offering this as a result of COVID-19, and I think that's pretty cool. I hope to see more and more content online education providers provide a similar offering um, during these times. But next, let's talk about gear. There are quite a few deals going on at B&H, and many of them remind me of Black Friday, though this feels more like the Black Plague sale rather than a Black Friday sale. Either way, I strongly recommend that you shop responsibly. While many of these deals sound super tempting, who knows what sort of hell on earth our economy will be suffering through in the months to come. So while shopping definitely always makes me feel better when I'm depressed, spending money is not a long-term cure for the Corona Blues. But if you have the funds and have been needing an upgrade, there are certainly some very capable devices out there at some hefty discounts. If you're interested in starting your own home studio, there is a very tempting price on these really amazing Profoto B2 250 Airs, which are being marked down at more than 50% off. These are excellent field strobes. They aren't necessarily for home studio work, but since they are small, portable, and packed down really tiny, this could actually work great for a small apartment or living room where you want to be able to quickly spin up or take down a photo studio whenever you need to. As far as cameras go, Canon is offering some hefty deals on many of their cameras. If you're after their flat flagship DSLR, you can save $800 on the 5D Mark IV, or if you're more interested in the mirrorless side of things, you can save $700 off the EOS R kit. In Sony land, two still very capable cameras are up for nearly 40% off, the a7 II and the Sony a6500. And on the Panasonic side, we have one of the most underrated powerhouses of a camera ever, in my opinion, the Lumix G9, which is available for $500 off. In Fuji's camp, I'd really like to see some deeper deals from Fuji, but if you've ever considered making the jump to medium format, it's hard to look past that $1,000 off of the GFX 50R and the really great 50mm 3.5 at half off. As a 50R owner myself, I'm really in love with that camera, but I'm not necessarily suggesting you run out and grab something that expensive at a time like this, but you're a big person and you can make those sorts of decisions for yourself. But those are some resources on the photography end as well as some deals. Um, but what about video? I know that I've heard that many of you have been thinking about starting up a YouTube channel with the free time you have. And guys, I'll level with you if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel to make a little bit of money when you're stuck at home. It is possible to do that, but it takes a long time. If you're seriously thinking about it, I definitely want to encourage you to do it but I also want to help you be realistic. And I do have a three-part video series here on YouTube that you should definitely watch before you dive headlong into the YouTube world. Please, I implore you though to watch those, at least part one and part two before you make that decision, but certainly before you invest any money into that decision, you will not see a return on any money that you invest in YouTube for potentially years, okay? Not, not weeks, not months, a long time. So, to just in fact i still haven't because i i put all that money that i get from youtube which still isn't a lot all of it just goes back into um, my habit my hobby um gear um that may change now but i just i just want to be completely honest with you um but it is a great use of your time and very enjoyable but either way watch watch that series Some great great free education there i think um on starting a photography related YouTube channel. And if you're committed to getting into it, let me see if I can help you at least save a little bit of money. And the first thing I'd recommend for you is to rather than forking out the cash to pay for and invest in learning expensive Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, try DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is an extremely powerful editor which has slowly year over year started to match and even improve over Premiere in many ways, even with their free version. And while their free version does come with a few limitations, it's still an excellent offering and more than you'll ever need for basic YouTube channel or 
basic video editing setup. As far as courses and learning goes, there are hundreds of thousands of free YouTube videos about being a YouTuber. It's probably one of the most meta careers you'll ever find. YouTubers who focus on video techniques make most of their money, I would bet, from other YouTubers. So I wouldn't recommend investing in any paid content there. Just do some searching in YouTube for the learning that you need. That's all I ever did, and I don't know if that's helpful. I don't know if that's a sales pitch to say that's what I did or not, um, but I've always felt like it was plenty. As far as gear though, there is a huge discount on a kit that looks to be really good, the DRLK 2X1000 um, LED kind of light setup. Lights are, I think, important to look like you know what you're doing in the YouTube land, um, especially if you're doing content for creators or you know photographers. I think having a good lighting setup and investing a little bit maybe makes a little sense, though you don't necessarily have to spend that much, though that deal is pretty good. And from Panasonic Lumix, we have um, one of the best prices I've seen on the GH5 and the GH5S, um, really powerhouse of cameras for YouTubing, vlogging, especially if it's talking head, because really the only limitation of those devices is their autofocus. Um, so if, you don't, if you're not worried about autofocus, man, you cannot go wrong with those those tools and especially at that price but that's not all that's out there of course the eos m5 uh, you're going to find a hefty discount on that and also the ADD. Um, there's a little i guess vlogging kit here um, with a great discount so both of those are excellent offerings as well for potential youtubers but that's all the offerings deals i guess resources whatever that i could wrangle together for you what am I forgetting though? Are you aware of any other deals out there um, for gear or content or even free things? Um, let me know in the description and I will be sure to make that available to everyone else because as everyone keeps saying, we're all in this together, guys. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're doing good. Do good with your camera. Love you, bye.